So back in the mid-90s when companies had more or less unfettered access to the internet from everyone's desk, a little utility came on the scene called AOL Instant Messenger, or AIM. And it was wonderful. I loved it because I could put it on a computer at home and I had it in my laptop at work. And my wife and I could chat throughout the day. It was less interruption than a phone call or even a you know, cell phone text message. It was just right there. And so she could, you know, ask me, you know, on your way home, get a gallon of milk or whatever it was. And we really enjoyed talking to each other throughout the day. But it had one interesting feature, which is that whenever someone sent you a message, that message box would take focus, meaning that if you were typing someplace else, you were now typing in the instant message window. And one day I was working on some login scripts, which you have to know that if you're doing Windows login scripts, you use the command net use to list out what drives you have or to actually create a drive mapping. So there I am working on the script. My wife jumps on to ask me a question and I type net use and hit enter, except I wasn't typing it in the script window, I was typing it in the instant message window. So she immediately said, wait, what? Because she thought I was typing it to her. So I was being cute and I said, oh, that's, that's nerd speak for I love you. And she typed back, oh, okay. And she asked me whatever question she had, you know, asked me to remember to pick up the kids on the way home. And at the end of the conversation, she typed net use. And it was my turn to be confused. Wait, what, what was that for? She said, well, you told me. It means it's nerd speak for I love you. So I was just telling you I love you. So from that point on until today, we still on cards and everywhere, we type net use when we mean I love you, which just goes to show that Geeks have their own particular language of love that they, you know, use that's different from any other.